Let me speak for a moment to those who already have a personal relationship with Christ. You're going to need to hear the voice of the Spirit in these crazy days we live in. And uh, you may be getting told or you're reading a lot of scary things that could happen. Now, I'm not saying there won't be a lot of challenges for us in the coming days. There may be. Don't listen to everything you, re- you hear. Don't listen to everything. Don't pay attention to everything you read. Just line it up with the Word of God, and uh, we know that there's no fear in the Lord. Can you say amen to that? Yeah. Okay. Just be wise. Be wise in these coming days. And, um, but part of being wise, you're going to need to hear the voice of the Spirit. And, um, Remember this, that God's not going to leave us alone. He's left us his Holy Spirit to guide us. Don't need to fear. We're going to know what to do if we listen to his voice. The bread of life, Jesus, will never leave us nor forsake us. He's our sustenance. Think about this for a minute, though. Just as the goodness of bread can be stripped down of its minerals and vitamins to taste pretty good. Uh, There's bread out there, and I'm sure you never eat it, that is living. But it's been messed with, and uh, it's not good for you. And, uh, but just as that can happen, we can strip down the message of the bread of life, Jesus, so that the message loses its power. And you're going to, and we hear this all the time, okay? I'm just going to mention three things that can happen. One thing is, and and don't misunderstand me when I say this, some people will tell you that if you're a Christian, that you can be wealthy, and then that, and, and that you never have problems. And, you know, to some of us that might seem funny, but a lot of people might believe that. And I'm not saying you can't be wealthy. You can. God gives some people that ability to bless others, okay? And it's a great thing. Um, It brings along with it a lot of challenges. Um, But we're going to have problems. Jesus said in John 16, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Peace. In this world, you will have trouble. Jesus says we'll have trouble. I don't like that, but it's the way it is. We're going to have trouble. Yeah. But he says, take heart. I have overcome the world. So he's not leaving us. Okay. Here's another thing. God loves you, but you don't have to repent of sin. Now, I talk a lot about the love of God, and I talk a lot about the grace of God because I've experienced it for myself. But one thing that really happens when you encounter the love of God is suddenly you realize how imperfect you are. And for me, it was a natural reaction once I knew that God really loved me to repent of my sin. I didn't really know that's what it was called, but I knew right away, I feel dirty. I don't, I've been doing the wrong things. Uh, and sometimes we're hearing a gospel that says that God loves you, which is great, but then there's no repentance. There has to be a turning from what you've been doing. The reason is, is because God is holy, which is a beautiful thing. Holiness is beautiful. It's perfection, and it's all the beauty. Uh, but that also means that the sin, there's no sin with God. There's no sin with Jesus. And so when we follow him, he cleans us up and he sees us as white as snow, but we still have crud in our lives that we have to work on. And so that's, that's a watering down of the gospel. That's a, that's a uh, taking out the nutrients and the minerals and the good things out of the bread of life, Jesus. And the last one I'm going to say is, and you're hearing this a lot today, Jesus is great. Jesus is one way. 
but there's lots of ways to God. And boy, if you talk about that enough, that will sure make a lot of sense to you. But can I tell you that some things in this life that make a lot of sense up in your head aren't true? And, and that there's truth. There are things that are true and things that are not. You can convince yourself, wow, it's so great that there's so many different ways to heaven. And they throw Jesus right into the middle of that. But if they knew what Jesus really said, they wouldn't do that. Because that's not what Jesus said. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. This is pretty clear. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one goes to his Father except through Jesus Christ. Now you're going to hear that very few times on the news today. Very little that Jesus is the answer. Yeah. Yeah. 